Hi everyone, this is Amanda, your astrologer, and this is your weekly astrological transit summary. I'm going to talk about the astrology for the rest of this week and into the weekend. So get out your birth chart and see if you have any placements at any of the degrees that I'm about to mention. So Monday, September 2nd was Labor Day yesterday, and Mars made a square to Neptune retrograde at 29 degrees of Gemini and Pisces. We also had a new moon at 11 degrees of Virgo. So new moons are meant to be a start of a new cycle. You can set some intentions. Think about the area of your life correlated to Virgo and watch those intentions come to fruition over the next six months. When we get into Pisces season next year, that's in six months, we will have a Virgo full moon and that will be the lunation correlated to this new moon. So whatever you uh, set for your intentions right now, those will come to fruition in six months. So moving into Tuesday, September 3rd, Venus will make a conjunction to the south node. The south node is a point of minimization, disappearance. Um, this is happening at six degrees of Libra. If you have any placements at six degrees of Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, this could affect you. So yeah, um, like I said, things can disappear, things can go away. Sometimes we can lose friendships here. Um, anything related to Venus, which would be uh, things that um, intend to reconcile or unify, um, that's her her main like function. So anything related to that can disappear, go away, minimize. So yeah, just pay attention to that. And then this, this could be relevant on Thursday as well when the moon aspects Venus. So pay attention to what happens on Tuesday because the moon could trigger this by Thursday. So just pay attention to that. Um, in addition, Tuesday, September 3rd, the Virgo moon will oppose Saturn at 16 degrees of Pisces, and it will also square Jupiter at 19 of Gemini. On Wednesday, September 4th, the Virgo moon will move through the last degrees of Virgo, and as it does that, it's going to be aspecting three outer planets moving retrograde in addition to Mars. So first, it will make a trine to Uranus retrograde at 27 Taurus. Then it will oppose Neptune retrograde at 28 Pisces. And then it will square Mars at 29 Gemini and trine Pluto retrograde at 29 Capricorn. So if you have any placements at those last degrees of Virgo, you are getting hit right now by three outer planets moving retrograde and Mars. So Wednesday, just know that you are getting hit from quite a few different angles. Um, and then also on Wednesday, the moon will enter Libra and Mars will enter Cancer. And Mars will be in Cancer. It's gonna move all the way through Cancer. It's gonna enter the first decan of Leo and then it will station retrograde and move backwards through Leo and Cancer again. And this whole process will take about five months. So about half the year, we're gonna be dealing with Mars and Cancer and Mars and Leo, um, but it's gonna move through with the entire sign of Cancer before it gets to Leo. So um, yeah, we're just gonna deal with a lot of Mars and Cancer. Mars is in fall in Cancer, so that means in the opposite sign, Mars is exalted. It has a lot of privileges and honor and resources at its disposal, but when Mars is in Cancer, it doesn't have any honor or privilege or resources. So it has to find other ways to deal with life and to move through life and to take action, right? Um, Mars is the warrior. Cancer is like, you know, relating to things related to the mother and emotions and when you have an emotional warrior, this is like the main archetype that we use for Mars and Cancer, you can't really 
you know, be both at the same time. Emotions and war, you know, they kind of are at odds. So you have to find a way to reconcile this and not let yourself get emotionally dysregulated, not let yourself have outbursts. Um, you're gonna have to really temper this Mars energy so that it doesn't take over <laughs> and control you. Um, yeah, so that's the big news happening starting Wednesday, Mars and Cancer. Thursday, September 5th, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're having a Libra moon conjoined to Venus at eight degrees of Libra. This is two degrees away from where Venus hit the south node, but I feel like this is a trigger point. So Tuesday and Thursday this week may be related. Just pay attention if this is aspecting you. Um, usually a Libra moon conjunct Venus is lovely, but with the south node there, we're dealing with, you know, things disappearing. So just, um, you know, be aware, especially if it's financial. Try not to spend crazy amounts of money. Um, yeah. Try not to lose anything, right? <laughs> um, if you have any Venus South Node stories that are relate, that's related to this, please share it in the comments and share what your placement is that's correlated to that. Okay, Friday, September sixth, Mercury will square Uranus retrograde at twenty-seven degrees of Leo and Taurus. Um, Uranus is all about surprises, as we all know, um, unexpected things, protesting, Mercury squaring this. If you have any placements there, be prepared for a little surprise or um, an uprising. Libra moon will also make a trine to Jupiter at 19 degrees of Gemini. Libra moon will sextile Mercury at 26 of Leo. Libra moon will square Pluto retrograde at 29 of Capricorn. And then the moon will enter Scorpio on Friday. Saturday, September 7th, the sun will oppose Saturn retrograde at 16 degrees of Virgo and Pisces. So this is um, the sun opposing Saturn retrograde. And then also Scorpio moon makes a trine to Mars at one degree of Cancer on Saturday. On Sunday, September 8th, Scorpio moon will trine Saturn at 15 degrees of Pisces, and the Scorpio moon will make a sextile to the sun at 16 of Virgo. Sunday night into Monday morning, Mercury is gonna re-enter Virgo. That is the entire week. As always, leave a comment if you have a story about you know the astrology, if it hit your chart a specific way and you wanna share, I would love to hear it. And Make sure you like this video if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. I don't know if you've been looking at my subscriber count, but I'm approaching a thousand subscribers, <laughs> which I never never thought would happen. So um, let's get to a thousand. If you know anybody that might enjoy these videos, who wants to know what's going on with the astrology, I make these videos once a week, so share with your friends, family, anyone, spread the good word, and I would love to, um, you know, get to a thousand pretty soon. Uh, let's see how quick we can do it. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.